up. With the final two candidates remaining, do you really think you're going to get into the NERD fraternity over me? Yeah. I mean, I got the look, I have the IQ, and I have a bigger head, which means I have a bigger brain, and by the biological test of intelligence, that means I'm smarter. Mr. Shane Cohen, Mr. Joseph from the Head of Admissions would like to see you now. Hello. You have 10 minutes to complete this performance test that Mr. Joseph asked me to give to you while he speaks with Mr. Cohen. It is a puzzle on the computer. I will notify you when your time is up. Performance tests consist of problems that minimize or eliminate the use of words. They're usually a puzzle or a maze. The test is basically a series of problems arranged in order of increasing difficulty. These performance tests require the test taker to pay close attention to a task for a given amount of time. Enter! Nice to meet you, Mr. Joseph. Pleasure. Greetings, Shane Cohen. I see that you are um, interested in joining the elite NERD fraternity. This fraternity is very difficult to join due to our extremely high expectations. We expect our members to be advanced from a young age, therefore, above average each year. Mr. Joseph, don't worry about that. I've been advanced since I started talking. I am so glad to hear that. Now, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. To start off, please tell me your IQ score when you were, say, seven years old. Oh, I remember that day very clearly, especially since each year I take the IQ test on my birthday. Now, let me just think back to when I was seven. Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Da, da, da. Hi well, your candle, make a wish. Here's your present. No way to step up an intelligence test. I'm going to take this test all year. My name is Alfred Benet. And I'm Theodore Simon. We are the two Frenchmen that created the Benet Simon scale that consists of 30 tests arranged in order of increasing difficulty. A well-known adaptation of the Binet-Simon scale, the Stanford Binet Intelligence Scale. It is currently designed to measure four virtual universal abilities related to traditional views of intelligence. Verbal reasoning. Abstract visual reasoning. Quantitative reasoning. And short-term memory. Shane, the mail's here. What? Oh my god, mom, it's from Stanford. It says my mental age is 10, but I'm, I just turned 7. That's awesome. I'm so proud of you, Shane. <laughs> ah, I made it. Happy. Happy. <laughs> the intelligence quotient, a.k.a. IQ for a child is determined by his or her mental age divided by his or her chronological age times 100. In this case, Shane's mental age would be 10. This was determined by the Stanford Binet test that he took on his seventh birthday. Therefore, you divide 10 by 7, his chronological age, which is approximately 1.42857143. And when you multiply that by 100, you get an IQ of about 142.857143. Obviously. So I clearly remember that my IQ score when I was 7 was approximately 142.857143. Splendid. And, um, what was your score on a group test such as the SAT? Well, it was a little low, but I got a 23 to 90. Great. Now, 
I'm going to ask you to take the Lachelaire Adult Intelligence Test, 3rd edition. We will score your test upon completion and notify you by mail of your acceptance into the prestigious MERD fraternity. Here you go. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. The Weschler Adult Intelligence Scale, 3rd edition, was originally developed in the late 1930s by psychologist David Weschler. It is divided into two parts, one testing verbal skills and the other testing performance skills. Yeah.